So it's Tunisian hawk time. Isn't this pretty? It's called honeycomb. Very pretty stitch and it doesn't curl. I'll show you how to start so it doesn't. So you can use any number of stitches. Any. So it really doesn't matter. So this is what, see this is the same thing but in another color. So very, very pretty. So I am using worsted yarn and a number 10 Tunisian hook. So let's get started. So I am making my, usually I leave a long tail just in case I need it. And I make my slip knot. I am going to make, I don't, oh, I don't know, very softly because you're picking up the back of the chains. So I will make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, let's say 13. So now you turn your chain and you're going to work in the back of the chain and pick up those little bumps in the back. So now I have two, pick up the bump. I usually help myself with my nail. So that's three, pick up the bump right there pick up that little bump and I will see when I pick all of them up so now all the return rows are the same so the first one you pass normally and then yarn over take off that one and the next yarn over take off two yarn over take off two yarn over take off two and you do that the whole row yarn over take off two and the, the, the return row is always the same okay so now the, the first two were set up rows and this is row number one. The first one we don't do anything because it comes from the loop right there. So that stays. Now we're going to see all the little yarns that are vertical. See them all of them like little soldiers. So we're going to pick up that first stitch and pass the yarn through and keep it on your hook. The next one you bring your yarn to the front, pick up the next stitch, bring the yarn to the back, hold it and crochet it. So the next one we're alternating them so do it normally and the next one you bring your yarn to the front pick up the stitch bring your yarn to the back and pass the yarn through again knit crochet that normally and then bring the yarn to the front pick up the next stitch bring the yarn to the back hold it and crochet it normally next one you do you crochet it normally with the yarn in the back the next one bring your yarn to the front pick up that stitch 
bring the yarn to the back and crochet that stitch. The next one is the normally. Bring the yarn to the front, pick up the next stitch, yarn to the back, and pick up. The next one is normally, and we're done with the row, the last stitch, you pick up the two strands, that one in the front and the one straight in the back so that your edge is nice and and soft. So now you have your 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13 stitches back. And the way back is normally like do one, yarn over, take off two, yarn over, take off two, yarn over, take off two, and all the way to the end. Okay, so row number three. We are going to pick up our stitches, but we're alternating them. So you see where you have the first one that you did normally. Now on that one, you're going to bring your yarn to the front, pick up that one, bring the yarn to the back, and crochet it. So now that that one becomes a pearl. The next one was a pearl. See that little stick that crosses it? Like right there. That was a pearl. So we're alternating and we're going to be crocheting that normally. The next one is a normal one. Therefore we're going to purl it, bring the yarn to the front, bring it to the back, and pick up. The next one, which was a purl, we're going to crochet normally. The next one, which was a normal one, we're going to purl, bring the yarn to the front, Pick up, yarn to the back, and crochet it. The next one is a normal one. The next one we're going to purl. Bring the yarn to the front, pick up, bring it to the back, and crochet it. The next one, which was a purl, we're going to crochet it normally. The next one you bring the yarn to the front, pick up, bring the yarn to the back and crochet. The next one which was a purl you're going to do normally. The next one bring the yarn to the front, pick up, bring it to the back, crochet it normally. And then the last one we're going to pick up the strand from the front and from the back. And then the way back is normally you take off one, take off two, take off two, take off two, take off two. And that's it. You do, you repeat these four rows for as long as you want your project to be. And this is very pretty. Let me show you how the edges look. So thank you very much for watching. Share us with your friends. See the edges, how pretty they look. Please like our page and subscribe. And I will be seeing you next time. See, that's the way they should look. So, I'll see you next time.